Hi, I'm Jeff Borland. I'm the Managing Director at Evolution Systems. We are a cloud and managed services provider specialising in IBM I. We've been an IBM business partner now for over 20 years um, and me personally, I've been in the industry for over 30 years despite my youthful good looks, starting out on the System 38s. I often get asked a lot of questions about IBM I and the last few years they've really focused around cloud. Can I migrate my IBM I to the cloud? Do I need a new system to adopt a cloud strategy? So I thought I'd do a series of videos to talk about the various different types of cloud, hybrid, private, multi, uh, who names, there's a lot of different variants out there. There's a, there's a minefield for a company looking to migrate to the cloud. So these series of videos, well, hopefully you'll enjoy them um, and they'll be a bit informative um, and to give you some information about how we help clients migrate their IBM I into the cloud. Today, I really want to talk about co-location, which is a form of cloud, um, which is effectively based on the traditional idea of a dedicated server that's located externally in a data center. That server might be looked after by yourself, it might be looked after by your business partner. The idea around co-location is you still need to have that machine sized for three to five years so that it can meet the needs of your business over that time. Your business may scale faster during that time. So with the co-location, you're gonna outgrow that server faster than that three to five years. What does that mean for your business? Well, consider the need for more storage. If you need more storage very fast, and every, every time now people want it like this, you have to buy that storage, your business partner will have to order that storage. It can take four to six weeks to land on the floor. Then you have to get someone to install it, and then um, you're, you have the access to that storage. If you're moving your IBM I into a co-location environment, and your business partner is is the, it has that model of multiple servers per client, because remember, it's all dedicated. They have to ensure that they are renewing the maintenance on those machines, on all of those machines, every single year. Now, consider, I'm sure there's been a time where your own maintenance on your one machine may have expired. It may have lapsed. We see it a lot. So multiply that out by 30, 40, 50 servers. It's a lot to look after. Just be careful uh, of moving into that environment. You might find um, that migration costs have been something that you're concerned about. So when you migrate into a co-located environment, there are costs associated with that migration. What people don't realize or don't even discuss is what happens at that three to five year point. Are you gonna to need to migrate to a new server? Are there going to be increased costs because of additional maintenance as potentially that server no longer might be supported by IBM? And who pays for that? So that's another really important consideration. What happens at the end of that three to five years? And what happens to your costs? Do they go up? Who knows? While you may have mitigated some of the risks about having your server on premise, power, cooling, and maybe security risks around your premises, uh, by moving into a co-location environment, you're not getting the true benefits, scalability, economies of scale provided by a, a, a true cloud environment such as private or public. Hopefully you found this video informative and educational. And if you like what you heard, please click on the link below, add your comments. If you have any questions, uh, give me a buzz and uh, we can talk through.